fishing boats. I wonder if that's Peter and Andrew or James and John. We leave early for Mount Tabor so that we can avoid all the other buses and lines. And here we are approaching the mountain, and of course, we were again the first bus to arrive. Down at the Jezreel Valley. And Nazareth Mountains also. Nazareth Mountains over there. Yeah. Which ones? All right the up. mountains right side. Yeah, it's Nazareth Mountains. <laughs> Front of us, Galboa. Where is the balloon? armies of Israel were on this mountain and they were preparing to do battle with the king of Hatzor but they had something that the Israelites did not have they had 900 iron chariots Israel did not have chariots or iron chariots and when they saw those chariots come galloping across this uh, Jezreel Valley they panicked and Baruch Barak was the general of the Israeli army and he said I will not go out and fight them because you know it's like guys going out with bows and arrows and these horses and these iron chariots are coming at you it's like guys with uh with guns going against tanks so they Barak he, he panicked and said I'm not going to go out and fight against those unless Deborah leads the army <laughs> yeah. one of those great moments for women the men were cowards the women rose you know I found that women are, are marvelous creatures when men fail women always step up and fill in mass at the church of transfiguration on top of Mount Tabor At the Church of the Transfiguration on Mount Tabor. Stand on this holy site. The Lord Jesus was transfigured. We ask now that our hearts will be changed. We ask that our hearts will be cleansed of our brokenness.
after a wonderful Mass and praying the Mystery of the Rosary, we get back on the taxis and head to Cana, where we're going to renew our wedding vows. Here we are on the road. So here we are oh, going up to Cana. The Christians in Cana. Father, Father, we're all going. What? Hi, everyone back home. Wave to your families. <laughs> Wave to your attorney firm back home. That's a noisy school behind us. Lots of kids. And Janet and me. Fearless leader of this group. celebrated the marriage of his friends here in Cana be with all of you this day. Amen. We've come here to celebrate and to remember the first miracle of Christ at the wedding feast of his friends here in Cana in Galilee. At the request of his mother, Jesus ensured the happy beginning of his friends' life together as husband and wife. We ask you to repeat after me. I renew and reaffirm my marriage vows to you. Once again, I promise to love and honor you. Once again, I promise to love and honor you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For better or for worse. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I renew and reaffirm my marriage wedding vows to you. I renew and reaffirm my wedding vows to you. Once again, I promise to love and honor you. Once again, I promise to love and honor you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Better or for worse. Better or for worse. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. God has joined together. No one set apart. If you would hold up your rings. <laughs> Lord, increase and consecrate the love with which these married couples have for one another. The wedding rings once they once exchanged are a sign of their fidelity and love. May they continue to prosper now in the grace of the sacrament. Prayer is ended. Let us go in the peace and the joy of Christ. Thanks be to God. You may kiss your bride and groom. <laughs> thou one women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. After the full tour and explanation at Cana, we board the bus and we head to the marvelous city of Nazareth. There's our beautiful bus, and we just arrived here in Nazareth for lunch. Nice, quaint, very uh, a traditional lunch for everybody. Authentic. Nazareth family here that cooks for us. So here everybody has a nice dip lunch. Very authentic. 
Good lunch. Always. Great. Yes. Delicious. site we visit is the Church of the Annunciation seen through the trees. This is where Jesus lived and we forget that Jesus was a Jew and Mary was a tough Jewish girl who had to carry water every day and probably went barefoot just like these girls a hundred years ago. Church of the Annunciation. The upper level's there. This is the lower level in front of the cave where Mary lived with her mother and father Joachim and Anna. And it was here 2,000 years ago that the angel came and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. It happened right there in that cave. And on the altar, there are the words I'll show you next. The word became flesh here in Latin. The word became flesh here. We're praying the mystery of the rosary of the Annunciation, which is where it happened and where the words Hail Mary full of grace came from. After Amr explained to everybody his church of the Annunciation, or his parish church, we'd take people across to the other church where Joseph lived. This is the way I think the real Joseph looked, hard, rugged man. And this is a picture of the life of the Holy Family in the cave where they lived. So I gave an explanation. The word carpenter shows up in the New Testament, doesn't it? The word is tekton in Greek, a tekton. It doesn't mean carpenter like you think of. It's mainly like a day laborer, a grunt, a redneck. How do you get a redneck? You work all day in the sun, your redneck gets red. They're rednecks, this is what Jesus said. They, the word tekton means one who works with hard materials, wood, stone, metal. So they would hire themselves out, they would do stone masonry. They would do rugged, tough work. Where did they go to work? Here we are arriving back in the city of Tiberias, wonderful Jewish town, and we're heading to our hotel. Everybody's going to have the latter part of the afternoon free since we started early. Time to pray and read the scriptures along the Sea of Galilee, take a walk into Tiberias, take a nap, whatever they want to do, have a glass of wine and talk, and Father's going to hear confessions. And then we'll have dinner at 6.30, and everybody will have a nice early evening. So, welcome back to Tiberias. Father, did you have a spot you wanted to? I think somewhere in the um, forest. Well, here we are back in the lobby of the Ron Beach Hotel. Back from a good day. Here comes Dan. Hey! Did you have a good day? Yes, sir. I certainly did. Mary Jane and everybody's coming on in oh, town. Amazing. And beautiful church. Now we get some free time this afternoon. Hey. One of our rooms has a balcony view of the great grounds, the whole park area here in the back of our hotel. And right access to the water here, very nice. Golan, uh, Golan uh, Heights over there. And next day, two days, we're going to be spending most of our time right along there. That's the whole land where Jesus did his ministry, all the way from where the Jordan River comes into the Sea of Galilee in the north, Capernaum, Tabga. You can see up there the Mount of Beatitudes where we're going to mass tomorrow morning, all along that shore. And there's even a boat there. We're going to be riding on that boat. I uh, can't see it, but uh, be riding on that boat in two days. So here we are in the Sea of Galilee. Everybody's got the afternoon free to enjoy it. And good night to everyone.